Hi, this is Lars of All About Samsung DE. Normally we are just doing German videos, but this time it appears that there are only very few videos of the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 edition, so I think it's okay when I'm doing an English video, just be gentle with me when it's not perfect. I'm not a native English speaker, so yeah, there might be a couple of mistakes, but I hope it's okay. The Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 is a successor of the first Samsung Galaxy A5, and I'd say it's just a perfect device for the price tag. It, uh, the price is around 429 euro retail price. Normally in the market it's a little bit cheaper, but for the price you get a, quite a decent device. It features a 5.2 inch display with a resolution of 1920 to 1080p, which is quite a high resolution for a mid-range device. On the back side it features a 13 megapixel camera with an optical image stabilization. It features an Exynos 7580, which is an octa-core CPU clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. So we have two gigabyte of memory, 16 gigabyte of memory expandable with a micro SD card, which is really nice. I mean, not normal for Samsung. They didn't this on the Samsung Galaxy S6. Under the hood, we have Android 5.1 running as operating system, which is not the newest version of Android, as you know, but Normally, nobody uses it at the moment. Uh, if you're on a Nexus device, okay, you have Android 6.0, but normally 5.1 is okay. But I'd like to see Android Marshmallow on the Samsung Galaxy F5 2016 as well. The uh, touch with user interface is the same as found on the Samsung Galaxy S6, so it's very fluid, and the camera interface is the same as well. So when you're going in the camera, you see a lot of Modi, but it's a little bit stripped down, so you don't find the tile net option or something like this. And if you go to the settings, you will see that the video option is limited to full HD video, so it's not possible to do UHD or uh, Quad HD or whatever video. So 4K is not possible on the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016. What is found on the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 is a fingerprint sensor. So on the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 you will find the same fingerprint sensor as found on the Samsung Galaxy S6. So when I'm going to security options, fingerprints, then I could scan the, my fingerprint but Actually, on this device, there's another fingerprint, so I can't scan my fingerprint. But it's found, and for the price tag of 429 euro, I think it's quite a decent deal. The device itself measure, measures um, 144 millimeters, 71 millimeter wide, and 7.3 millimeter thick, which is quite nice as it features a 2,900 milliamp battery and for the weight of one, uh, 155 gram, I think it's okay. You have glass on the front, you have glass on the back, you have a metal bezel, so I think for the device it's quite perfect what you found here. Um, what is not perfect might be the resolution, but again, 5.2 inch with a resolu resolution of full HD for this price tag, I'd say it's perfect. I'm quite stunned how amazing this device is. And for Samsung, it might be an issue because we are talking about a mid-class device. And when you compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S6 or something, I'd say this device is as good as the Samsung Galaxy S6 for 90% of the user, as it's features everything you need. It even features a radio which isn't found on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 as an example. So I hope you enjoyed the short hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 edition. If there are any questions just let me know below in the comments. I'm Lars of All About Samsung DE and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks.